Hello everyone, welcome back to ZimStream TV. Your one-stop source for all the latest news, analysis, and commentary on politics, social affairs, and religion. From breaking news to in-depth analysis, we've got you covered. Chamisa urges young people to take charge of their future. Former CCC leader Nelson Chamisa has encouraged young people to get involved in politics and take charge of their future. In a recent post on social media platform X, Chamisa said, young people take charge. Things are changing. When we effort to promote the young people in Zimbabwe, the old feel threatened and cannibalize the young ones. Hashtag young people lead. Chamisa also shared a video of the UK's new generation of MPs, all of whom are under the age of 30. The video showcased the young MP's passion and dedication to creating positive change in their country. Chamisa's message is a call to action for young people in Zimbabwe to become more involved in politics and to take on leadership roles. He emphasized that the old guard often feels threatened by the emergence of young people in politics and may try to undermine their efforts. However, Chamisa encouraged young people not to be discouraged by this resistance. Instead, he urged them to continue pushing for change and to take charge of their future. He believes that young people have the energy, creativity, and idealism to bring about positive transformation in Zimbabwe. The response to Chamisa's post has been overwhelmingly positive, with many young people expressing their enthusiasm for getting involved in politics. Some have shared their own stories of how they are already making a difference in their communities, while others have asked for advice on how to get started. Chamisa's message has also resonated with older generations, who recognize the importance of passing the baton to young people. Some have expressed their support for Chamisa's call to action, acknowledging that it is time for a new generation of leaders to emerge. In Zimbabwe, where the political landscape has been dominated by older leaders for decades, Chamisa's message is a breath of fresh air. Many young people feel disillusioned with the current political system and are eager for change. By encouraging young people to take charge of their future, Chamisa is helping to empower a new generation of leaders who are equipped to tackle the challenges facing Zimbabwe. His message is a reminder that politics is not just the domain of the old and experienced, but that young people also have a critical role to play. As Zimbabwe looks to the future, it is clear that young people will be at the forefront of creating positive change. Chamisa's call to action is a testament to the power of young people to shape their own destiny and to create a better future for themselves and their country. In conclusion, Nelson Chamisa's post has sparked a renewed sense of excitement and purpose among young people in Zimbabwe. His message is a reminder that young people have the power to create positive change and that they should not be afraid to take on leadership roles. As Zimbabwe moves forward, it is clear that young people will play a critical role in shaping the country's future. However, according to an anonymous political analyst, Young people in Zimbabwe are afraid to get involved in politics due to the current regime's reputation for torture and arrest of opposition members. The analyst pointed out that the recent incident where the regime used an imposter, Senjezo Chibangu, to recall opposition MPs, leaving them jobless, has further exacerbated the fear. This incident has sent a chilling message to young people that politics is a dangerous zone, the analyst said. Many are now hesitant to get involved, fearing that they will be targeted by the regime. The use of intimidation tactics and violence has become a hallmark of Manungugwa's regime, and it's driving young people away from politics. The analyst also noted that the regime's actions have created a culture of fear among young people, making them reluctant to speak out or participate in political activities. The regime's tactics are designed to silence opposition and maintain their grip on power. Young people are seeing the risks as too high and are opting to stay away from politics altogether. This trend is worrying, as it means that the country is missing out on the energy, creativity, and idealism that young people can bring to politics. Young people are the future of Zimbabwe, 
and if they are not involved in politics, then the country's future is bleak, the analyst said. Furthermore, the analyst pointed out that the regime's actions are also having a negative impact on the country's economic development. When young people are afraid to get involved in politics, it means that they are also less likely to start businesses, innovate, or create jobs. This has a ripple effect on the entire economy, perpetuating the cycle of poverty and stagnation. In conclusion, the current regime's tactics are not only driving young people away from politics, but also having a broader negative impact on the country's development. It is essential for the regime to change its approach and create a safe and inclusive environment for young people to participate in politics. Only then can Zimbabwe hope to tap into the energy and creativity of its youth and build a brighter future.